everybody, welcome to Bulldog White, I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be about Evan Moore's Take It to Your Seat Centers. In our case, these are more like Take It to the Floor Centers, and if your homeschool is anything like ours, it's probably going to be Take It to the Floor Centers for you too, but nonetheless, these centers are amazing. They are full color, they're interactive, they're hands-on, they're a great way to get your kiddos um, practicing some of those basic skills or, you know, concepts you want them to practice, but maybe they're like, oh, I don't want to do that again, in that fun, hands-on way that doesn't really feel quite as schoolish to them. I think these are a perfect to incorporate into your morning basket. There are tons in different um, subjects. There's math, geography, language arts, and more. So you could loop through some of the different subjects. You could do, let's say, geography today, math tomorrow, writing the next day, language arts the next day, and just slowly loop through the concepts. By the end of the year, you probably would have done almost all of them, which is a great way to practice some extra skills. What's even better about adding them to your morning basket, if unlike me, you have multiple kids, you can have all of your kids working on them at the same time because there's not a ton of consumables in these. And because they're made for a classroom, they're designed for a large group of people. So you could have all of your kids sit down together and you could just all join in on it. For instance, here we have the desert animals. This one is writing and it's really fun because all you're doing is getting this desert draw and write page right here and then you can pick one of these multiple different animals and you would draw and write and there's like I said there's multiple different ones so each of your kids could get one of those you could sit down around the table together or on the floor together and you could do this all together as a group Another really fun thing to do for these, if maybe you don't do morning basket or you don't do a morning time in your homeschool, would be to use them for strewing. Um, we love strewing. Well, I love strewing because I'm not a morning person. So I love to just leave things out for Emily to discover and explore. And these would be a great way to do that. You could leave a couple, let them choose which one they wanted to do, which subject they did, or which um, center within a certain subject they did. You could, you know, leave it out kind of appealing like you started it. That's normally what I like to do and let them finish it. Um, but you can't be offended if they don't do it. They will eventually do it probably. But there's just tons of fun because they're hands on. So without further ado, I'm going to turn you around. I have seven of the centers already made, one in each of the different books offered. These are available in a book form where you can get the actual book or PDF form. That's what I did so that I could just print and make these. Um, they are also all available in Evan Moore's teacher file box, which I will leave links for all of this in the description box down below. The teacher file box is, I believe, $99.99 for a year, and you get access to a ton of their content in PDF form. So you would just download almost anything you want that they have available. The first center we're going to look at is from the Literacy Centers, grades 4 through 6, and it is antonyms. There are... 13 different centers within the literacy one and they cover multiple different topics. So this is just one of 13. So it shows you on the front tall and short. And then on the inside, these are your recording sheets. So I just cut these in half. And then over here we have four different envelopes so they would pick let's say blue the first time they write at the top their name the fact that they picked blue and then they're going to pick like advanced and they're going to find an antonym next center that we have is contractions matchup and that is from the book reading and language the reading and language take it to your seat that we'll be looking at today is third grade it includes 12 different centers. One of the things I forgot to mention is that each book comes with a center checklist. So you can see all of the different centers that are included and you can put um, like the skill level, like how well they did and the date. So this contraction matchup has the recording sheet on this side, like always. And then this one has a few different mats. So there's a mat one and two. And then in here you have the little thing. So like sheed would go 
under the wood and they'll would go there so it's just spun sorting for contractions next up we have parts of speech which is part of the language book the one we'll be looking at today is third grade it includes 12 different centers and again has that center checklist there is the recording sheet over here and then this one too has two different mats and within this envelope we have the different um, this would be kind of like a Mad Lib, so Twinkle would be an adjective. And then you have the definitions too. So it describes a verb, an adjective, or another verb. And you would put that, you know, where it goes. The next one we have is Draw and Write Desert Animals. This is part of the Writing Centers. The one we're looking at today is grades 3 and 4. Here is a look at its contents. I'm really excited about this one because Emily loves to draw. So you have your recording sheet, which is drawing the animal and then writing about it. And you have all of these different animals to choose from. And then some of them on the back have the instructions for the child. So you would put this on the back and that way they could do it without you. The next one we'll be looking at is number patterns. This one is from the math book. The one we'll be looking at today is grade three. This one includes 12 different centers. And this is a number pattern. So here you have your recording sheet. And then over here you have your two different mats as well as a long number line to help you with your counting. So you would just get in here and put the numbers where they go. So you're doing that hands-on activity and then you're still recording it over here as well. The next one we'll be looking at is the world on a globe which is part of the Geography Center, which is grade three and four. Here is a look at those contents. And this center has a fill in the blank, but then it tells you a little bit about the globe. And this is so cool. So you match the fill in the blank portions with the bottom to make the whole thing. So the blank divides the equator into two halves, or sorry, <laughs> divides the earth into two halves. So we're looking for the word equator. And then there we go, we would have the whole world. So once you match them up, you would basically just transfer the data. And last but not least, we have science analogies, which is from the science centers, which is grade three and four. Here's a look at those contents. So we have the science analogies over here, so it's blank it's to blank as blank is to blank. Again, this is one that has the directions on the back. There's two different sets, so some have different differentiation, which is nice. So you would pull everything out of here and you would read something like, hot is to fire as cold is to, and then you're going to find the word that goes with that for that analogy. So let's see if we can find one. As cold is to ice. And once you match them all, you would just write them down on your recording sheet. Mm -hmm. 